Hi, Dr. Joe here to talk a little bit more about vitamin D, as I've often mentioned. And here's something from Yahoo, a very interesting piece. Uh, they talk about the way vitamin D is going to go through a very rigorous study, National Institutes of Health, lots and lots of money, lots and lots of people uh, that's going to find out what it will do good for you. There'll be about 2,500 volunteers for this. That doesn't sound like too much, but it's going over a long period, and it's going to measure things on a regular basis, double-blind, everything you'd like to know about how things are going to be better. Uh, the key thing is, does it prevent diabetes? And the short answer is it sure does. We've used it for a long period of time, and we're using it now because of all this interest, because we know that we're in a place where we can increase the vitamin D and get less diabetes in everybody. As you know, that I'm spending a lot of time thinking about everything within the type 1s, and I'm talking now here today about type 2s, and we have to know how to get some strategy to get rid of diabetes. It is a terrible scourge within the world. It's it's increasing and causing increase in every state of the union in every country on earth and billions of dollars are being sucked up by all the things that are um, that are wrong with diabetes and all the complications. So there's a tremendous need for low cost, urgent, urgent need to stop this epidemic. So here we go. So what is the link between um, diabetes and uh, everything wrong with you and, and and people who just don't take enough vitamin D? Well, it's something that when I was very young, um, just old enough to climb up and help build houses with roofs, uh, I took a lot of vitamin D. I took a tremendous amount of vitamin D. I did it with the milk. I would drink about four quarts, that's a gallon of milk every day. And that was, for me, about 12,500 milligrams or units of vitamin D. Uh, that was incorporated as an additive, a supplement to milk, and that I use it a lot. And one of the interesting things that's happened to me is that I did it, and I didn't do it for more than about a year or two. And that was only in the summer when you can get on the roofs in Florida. So my skin then is therefore something that hasn't got anything wrong with it at all. Uh, nobody in my dermatologic visits talked about how you have ruined your skin by doing all this. And all that is the first place I realized there was some other big reason why we didn't want to get low in vitamin D. I didn't chase it the way I did before because I was just thirsty then. But now we know there's things, a roof, we're going to talk about it more as time goes on, and the resources that the National Institutes of Health is thrusting in here is going to answer a lot of programs. As is the time when I talk with many people about how they're doing it in London and things such as that, this is the time to really get your health in good place. This is something really to add in there. It's your time.